Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Odir KD Overview, back at again with another video. And today's reaction has come in the form of Ted making his return after 2015, I think, which was the last time we got a Ted movie. And now it's a series on Peacock where I can say, okay, we're not getting a Ted 3, but is this our Ted 3? Like now is TV Family Guy style romps, but not really with this one. This is actually a prequel to the first movie. And I got to say, yo, he did kind of. And luckily, now that it's on Netflix for the time being, I did get to watch Ted 1 and 2 again. And there is a lot of fun stuff you could actually do with this concept because around the 80s, 90s was when Ted actually made his mark in that world where he started to become famous, a celebrity of his own, but he was still connected to John. But I want, I don't know. Part of me is like, we're going to get a young Mark Wahlberg sounding looking person. I don't know if the comedy is still going to stick since we know what happens in Ted 1 and where, how they got to that point. Because we know Ted has been busted for stuff. He's been actually going crazy as a celebrity while still keeping tabs with John. But hopefully we actually get a key concept of what the show is. I don't even know what it's about. So let's take a look. Seth McFarlane here, and I am thrilled to share the trailer for our new Peacock original series, Ted, telling the story of Ted and John's early days. Let's take a look. Okay. Hey, Johnny. How bad is school gonna suck? You're not gonna like it. How bad? At least it, Ted's animation hasn't nuts changed. Smashed together so hard they become just one night. It doesn't look too Holy cheap. Shit. You should be going to school every day with John. Uh, no, thanks. You might have fun. No, I would not have fun. I guard the house when you guys are out. <laughs> what happened to the TV? It was an accident. You're going to school. He got hookers in the room. Fucking brain. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Still learning. You're bringing your dolls to school? It's the 90s. Times are changing. Sexual education. Let's start with masturbation. If you're going to assign homework, Johnny already did it this morning. Hey, shut the fuck up, dude. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, he is kind of actually making um, uh, John's voice, Mark Wahlberg type, sound good. We're about to get high for the first time. Can we have drugs, please? Let's do this right. Oh, man. Let's see how this goes. believe we're like having an experience and experiencing reality is there a fucking gas leak or something <laughs> all right nice costume fuck face it's possible that the two of you might not be total screw ups take a long look this is what life is well shit teddy i'm the last virgin in school we can fix this we gotta find a fire fresh penis Get your fresh penis here. <laughs> still has that new penis smell. You shut up. All right, I'm just trying to help. Okay, not bad. Well, Peacock at least has my subscription for next month. Might have to add that one to the list. But um, yeah, not too bad of a teaser, I guess I could say. I knew that I noticed a bit of couple changes because the two parents, they're not the same parents as the movies. Ted, um, John never had a sister, which hopefully if they do a Ted 3, that comes up later on in their movie plans, but, um, show looks kind of good. It actually seems like they're going back to basics with the Ted formula comedy, at least breaking the fourth wall, at least in some moments, actually referencing the year it's taking place in because it's the nineties in this version. But also I kind of like the fact that they're actually keeping it with a higher, more actual budget because from what I can tell, this, it looks like the movies. You can't compare one of the other and say this one looks different, this one looks cheaper. Yes, it's in a closed environment besides actual open sets, but it actually looks bad. It doesn't look that bad, especially since we're going to get a bit of the originality of some of the stuff we can actually do on TV. Since the movies were rated R and they had a bit of a restrictions, this is a TV show. And you know the way Seth MacFarlane did the Family Guy, American Dad shows? You can actually use that format to actually make some jokes, push the limits of TV, or in this case streaming, and actually do something special with the prequel series. It said it was going to be an event series, so I think it's just going to be this one season or this is our sort of Ted movie miniseries. And if we can get more Ted, hopefully we can get it back on the big screen. 
All right, guys, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. All my social media is down in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.